Good afternoon. The headlines this Saturday on Meridian. Standoff, police and protesters watch and wait. Getting ready for a massive march against a replacement power station. It could... Hundreds of protesters are preparing to stage a huge demonstration against plans to build a new replacement coal-fired power station in Kent. Members of the Climate Camp Action Group have been arriving at the King's North site all day today, ahead of a march tomorrow. Joanna Martin sends this. The police were watching the protesters and the protesters were watching them as marquees and construction materials arrived on site. Finishing off camp ahead of tomorrow's march was the main focus of the day. But campaigners say the police are making the task almost impossible. They're taking guy ropes and nuts and bolts that we need for like things like compost toilets. So there's a bit of a concern on site at the moment. They have been seizing um, the pipes for the delivery of fresh water and they've been delaying obviously our marquees um, for about two days now, which is obviously really preventing us from being ready for the, for the opening tomorrow. Police say they've been seizing equipment likely to cause criminal damage. The main focus today has been the construction of the climate camp behind me. Now 150 people are estimated to be inside, with a further 200 turning up ahead of tomorrow's march. But things haven't gone that smoothly. Campaigners object to what they say is political police presence, and they feel the police have taken that one step further by now videoing them constructing the site. With the campaigner's threat of shutting down the plant exactly a week away, E.ON says providing people in the region with power continues to be their main priority. We're just keeping a watching brief on things really. Our intention is to continue with business as usual as much as, it, as is possible. Kings North Power Station produces enough electricity for one and a half million homes in the southeast and Kent of course. So we need to make sure that we continue to do that so we can keep the lights on for our customers, homes and businesses. Tomorrow marks the official opening day of climate camp and police will continue to monitor the event very closely. Joanna Martin on the Isle of Grain for Meridian News. Well Kent police have told us we are continuing to speak to protesters. We have offered solutions for returning items confiscated and we will return any items we believe are genuinely to be used for the building of the camp. One vehicle which was seized yesterday for having no insurance had a marquee in it which was returned to the camp at noon today.